Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where there's a lot of fights going on this month. Uh, what are we in? December 1923, but none of them are particularly huge. Mm -hmm. uh, Twitch chat is with me, as usual. I'm sure they'll keep me right, but uh, yeah, being attacked by a cruiser force, they aren't the very nasty, evil uh, light cruisers. So I'm hoping we can uh, deal with them without too many problems. Preemptively, I'm going to turn. Because I reckon they're coming this way. Yeah, there we go. I'll load high explosive widget. Don't think we'll need uh, AP rounds just yet. AP round. Is that a heavy cruiser, I wonder? Hmm, it's falling out of line, maybe? Ah, there we go. That'll uh, do it in. Now, it looks like the whole line is moving. Mm. Yeah, no Dartmouth, not in this match. Evil little buggers they are. All right, <laughs> good luck. That's a that's a light cruiser. He's probably fine. And they're moving away. Switched up to the patrol. Actually, I think they're uh, able to keep out. Oh no, they're not. Switch back to HE. Keep changing my mind. Terrible. Hey Sheriff. Um I'm not getting my ass kicked completely. I mean to be fair, I think I'm doing alright. <laughs> it's just not the kind of romping instant victory, but it's kind of the point. because uh, it's a little bit more challenging as a campaign, especially with uh, the AI actually deciding to be good for the uh, enemy for once. Hello there, Cranky. How are you doing? Yeah, there there is a really nasty new ship, <laughs> indeed. Yeah, the oh that that was good. Intrepid just got absolutely obliterated. Yeah, so the, the AI's built a new light cruiser that is stuffed full of torpedoes, is insanely fast, and I don't yet have radar, so I can't blow them up from range. I do have a good counter to them in our middleweight cruisers. But, um, yeah, to, to my quote-unquote light cruisers... They're very, very dangerous. And my destroyers as well. And of course, being loaded with torpedoes. Uh, good thanks. You haven't played since January. Ooh. I'm trying to think what version we were on back in January. Uh, yes. Definitely uh, a lot of changes. Um, so the campaign is five nations. Um and goes from 1890 to 1950, if you want it to. Uh, you can start later. Um, there's peace, there's war. So there's peace and war. Um, you can change the caliber of guns. You can change the length of guns. I'm trying to think what else they added relatively recently. 
Oh yeah, torpedoes can fail and go off target. Um, I think those are the main changes. And yeah, we're waiting on 109. Uh, which should be, hopefully, we'll get some news soon. I will, of course, be covering it on the channel as soon as I do get some news. Um, no my luck will come out in the October holidays. Uh, and, uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, cool stuff coming out cool uh for that uh full world map um submarines mines uh what was the other stuff they mentioned I'm trying to think submarines mines something else <laughs> yeah so so torpedoes have definitely been nerfed um some people would argue too much um but they, they could still be threatening for sure Oh yeah, you can fiddle with beam and draft. Thanks, Jay Dretter. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Euros. Uh, nice to see you. Good day. See if I can find that remaining cruiser. Um, hello there, Antiquity Cart. Yeah, they've uh, added more stuff to the tech tree. Um, the minor nations is a big thing. I don't think that's in one oh nine, is it? But they, they have said that they are working on a minor nations. So it's, I mean, it's always we've always had a kind of inkling because some of the game files refer to... Small, I'm just going to end the battle here. I can't be bothered. Um, <laughs> uh, minor nations. We don't know how they're going to work, but yeah, minor nations are going to be a thing, which is cool. Um, and that could potentially mean that we get a very full featured map um you know it, it, looking at europe for instance you know uh, the ottomans and greece could be naval miners um and possibly they make their own ships <laughs> and stuff like that. that that could be very very cool um yeah so there's there's a lot coming uh, we just we're not we just don't know exactly when. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? An Antrim class. And two sharks. Up against a Valkyrie. No, no, all, all, all ten mages are going to be playable in 109, apparently. So the majors are obviously the ones we've got, plus uh, Spain, Russia, USA, Japan, and China. So those those five will be added. It's playable. They did mention canals. Uh, that all they really said about them was that the controller of the province will be able to uh, move ships through them. But they didn't say, you know, your ships have to meet certain size requirements or anything like that. But they did say, you know, that that would be a point of conflict where, you know, you're going to try and take those provinces off the AI as quickly as possible. Uh, you know, that's definitely going to be a desirable... thing for you to try and get. Eh. Nice try. Come on, give me a hit. There we go. And flooding. Slowing them down. Another decent hit. More flooding. Dead. Okay. Focus on the whip. target locking. Right. See if we can get the Gibraltar. She does have a torpedo launcher. <laughs> uh, Mr. Beep, I can't do that when I'm recording. Ow! Son of a bitch. Really? 
but I will do it as soon as I can. Fucking target lock as well. Jesus. This is the most annoying bug in the game. Please, 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 please. Please fix. Ah. Oh, yeah, the ship floors. Yeah, I think they should um, potentially make that a uh, optional thing. There you go. Finally untarget locked yourself. Right, fire HE, you're so bloody close. Oh, and there you target lock again. Fucking hell. <laughs> and she's about to launch a million torpedoes at me. Ha! Blew one of them up. Or oh, she's not going to fire a million torpedoes at me. Thought she was. Yeah, this changes the shipyard though. I think that's good. So you're no longer going to be able to uh, just build as many enormous super ships as you want. You, you know, you can going to have. Well, we can build ships this big, and we can build this much at this time. I think that's good. Oh, piss off! How are you blocking a shell? Thank you. They wouldn't mind having a pass at... Uh, this is one of their newer heavy cruisers. I think he's about to try and shoot me with torps. Again. <laughs> Apparently not. But I should be able to just cut through like butter according to the game and then it's like nope no you can't <laughs> how much are those 43 million each yeah they're pretty expensive almost as much as one of the valkyries Well, uh, they definitely said that there was a tech that uh, you could go for to reduce the chance of a defect. Trans oh, the transports. Yeah, I, sh I will. There's another escort ship out there, though. Uh, there's a destroyer out there somewhere. But uh, the heavy cruiser could still be very annoying. So, And she's a prize worth killing anyway. Even if I am just kind of shooting up her upper works at the moment. Alright, try some AP shells and let's go. Flooding. How do I think anti-submarine warfare is going to work? I don't know. It's probably very simply. So, ships will have an ASW score. Uh, submarines probably have a avoiding score or something. And yeah, find them, take them out. Uh, it'll all happen on the campaign layer. We know that much. It'll, it'll basically be an opposed role kind of thing, I think. Would be my guess. Right, finally got rid of that damn thing. Let's go looking for the transports. Yeah, you're going to need a lot more destroyers. Transports could be a fair way away by now.
Mm, we're getting closer. I do love these uh, advanced armored cruisers. Still waiting on that Mark IV 11 inch gun. So we can build the heavyweight cruisers. Come on. You're around here somewhere. Oh, I'll uh, write that down. I've got a bit of a backlog with names, but I'll try my best. Uh, I'll fend. Yeah, there's a transport. <laughs> Soon to be a dead transport. Oh, they're armed as well. Fun. There's the last one. Yeah, I mean, imagine that you can barely see the ship on the horizon that's shooting you. I think that was the last transport. Yeah, it must have been. I'm not bothering to hunt down the destroyer. I'll I'll take transports, heavy cruiser, and a DD. Very nice. Right, let's have a look. I think all the uh, cruisers have been named, but I'll check. Uh, I don't think... No, 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 they haven't. Okay, Mecklenburg, you can be the... Oh, Uh, what else did I have? Oh yeah, I had a good, good. Change this one, the one we just had. Uh, and I think that's it for the cruisers. That's it. Cheers. Okay, what's next? Uh, Destroyer 2v2. <laughs> okay. 
No transports or anything like that to worry about. I'm going to split them up. My two ships. We've got Buzzard and Vulture. <laughs> Quick turn. All right, where are those trans? Yeah, <laughs> torps going. Directly at me. Are these are the ones that fire millions of torpedoes. Ugh, find another set. to hope for a hit. There we go. Lovely. White bear starts to flood. Too far away from the action. If it comes to swing around, do 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 do. Top and back. Oh, I can try. Where are you shooting, mate? <laughs> yeah, Torps away. They're going to miss badly. Oh, there we go. Serapis takes another hit. Because once you slow those uh, British destroyers down, they uh, become a lot easier to hit. do the white bear in. Uh, or not. <laughs> right, let's bring both ships round. Oh, hello. Cheeky. sink. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we're going to have fuel and ammo 
mattering between battles and stuff, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, there we go. Pretty handy victory by this pair. Uh, did we take any damage? Yeah, we did. One hit. <laughs> One damaging hit, that's it. have oh a Dartmouth class hmm okay these are the evil evil ships even the Raptors are gonna have I don't it, I don't even think they can keep up with it so we're gonna have to rely on getting a couple of hits in on it kill it with fire I know Definitely a, a good opportunity to attack one of these things. Yeah, thirty-eight point eight knots. They're they're very very fast. And have a cloaking device because of course they do. And they're also covered in torpedoes. There it is. Torps, 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 torps. to independent action okay torps I think avoided she's got plenty more where those came from I'll try a shot Osprey if you get it oh a flooding hit lovely look at all Causes it to turn at least. Right. That way. That way. That way. That way. Of course, she changes direction. Take a shot if you get it. Ooh, Jesus, never mind. Gigantic spread of torps. It's mostly avoided. Yeah, yeah, these things are nasty. Oh, thanks, Cranky. Have a good one. Torps out. And, of course, they're going to miss. There's another set coming out from there. Jesus. <laughs> so 
in a minute. Yeah, Falcon did get a shot off. Nah, he's far, far too far this way. Should have been more like that. All one kinked, but it's still gonna miss. Ah, I hit them, but they were duds. <laughs> probably because the angle. She has taken on a little bit of flooding though. She's probably not faster than the DDs anymore. Thanks, Mr. B. Yes, more flooding. Kestrel. Oh, she is end of torpedoes, though. That's something. Rip her apart! Very good. That's a very nasty AI ship sent to the bottom for not too much damage in return either. Oof. Excellent work by the Raptors there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they are pretty close to <laughs> like cruisers uh, rather than being pure DDs. Oh, what have we got here? Dauntless. That's an older style cruiser and a bunch of destroyers okay <laughs> vengeance <laughs> now This could potentially be quite challenging with that number of destroyers. They can spit out an unholy number of torpedoes. I'm kind of hoping the Hawk will find them first and uh, engage. Yeah, there we go. That's exactly what I want you to do. No, not that. That. Because if the AI is so willing, I'll be able to get them to fire all their torpedoes at the destroyer. <laughs> oh, my, mind you, it hit the light cruiser with my own torp. Pretty good. We are far too close, Hawk. <laughs> Why 
What's the range on their torpedoes? Um, the destroyers have a 9.5 kilometer range and the light cruiser 6.4. Uh, 26 thank you very much for the subscription with prime my goodness thank you all currently going towards well some of it goes towards you know staying warm and fed but uh <laughs> anything everything else goes towards a uh, a new computer so i do appreciate it Down goes the Dauntless. Should be able to get the Trusty pretty easily as well. Yeah, that should do her in. Yeah, there she goes. Have a beer on me, thank you very much. Uh, I hope you don't mind me uh, substituting it for cider. But uh, <laughs> actually, I don't even have any cider in the house. Uh, I could have a glass of port. I have some whiskey somewhere. Um, and gin. Must be some gin somewhere. <laughs> oh, got him. Fired a torpedo at me. More than one torpedo, actually. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Torpedo, for uh, failing and going the wrong way. At mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> 6am. Surely it being 6am is not an impediment to an Australian. <laughs> Oh my goodness. That destroyer appeared, and as soon as I look at it, the Hawk's already smashing it up. Uh, Machuk, thank you very much for the follow. Just need to put the Marmion down now. Uh, that flooding should finish. Yeah, yeah there we go. It's five o'clock somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, here, where I am, it's uh, nine at night. So go crazy. <laughs> Voluntary impediments. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, there's the inevitable torpedo launch. Yeah, Victor. Oh, Victor's actually out of torps. That's unfortunate for them. And the poor old. Uh, Venetia here yeah, is kind of between a rock and a hard place. And now it's going to the bottom of the sea. Well, that actually went pretty well. Ah, cup, cup of tea. Cup of tea. Can't complain about a cup of tea. Well, I think that's a uh, perfectly fine place to end the episode. Um, 
It's a lot of action in this one. And uh, I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.